everyone welcome to my youtube channel civil learning online and uh, today in this video i will be discussing about the mccallis method and this is going to be the third type of numerical okay and uh, as you can see in the given equation uh, i have selected a uh, span which is overhanging and uh, it is simply supported at two point a and b and the int d is overhanging and the span a b is carrying a point load of 10 kN at the mid span ok so let's see and uh, i hope this video is going to be helpful for those students who are studying structure analysis so let's come start step 1 in the step 1 we first need to find the reaction at supports a and b as you can see i have assumed that the reaction at support a is v a and reaction at support b is v b so uh, we need to use this sign convention for shear force and uh, this is sign convention for moment first step is for re reactions so uh, we i will be using this sign convention of left hand side this says that uh, downward force is positive and upward force is negative okay and uh, these va and vb reaction at a and b are acting in upward direction so these two are taken as negative okay according to this sign convention and uh, for load 10 kN and 5 kN are acting in downward direction so these two are taken in posi plus positive so uh, on solving this you will get an equation that va plus vb is equal to 15 kN as you can see here now uh, after that we will come to our uh, step second and uh, for that i am finding moment about in the a so i will be using this sign convention uh, as i have taken in a so this is our in a going to be our in a and this is our span so as you can see reaction b is acting in upward direction and the moment is going to force into distance perpendicular distance so uh, b will move in this direction this line uh, means anti clockwise direction so this will be uh, positive so vb into 6 and uh, as you can see this 10 kN is acting in clockwise direction and according to this sign convention clockwise is in uh, positive uh, sorry negative so minus 10 into 3 and uh, this 5 kN as you can see this 5 kN is also taking clockwise direct moment clockwise moment and again for that also clockwise moment it is negative so minus 10 minus 5 into 9 force into perpendicular distance okay and uh, on solving this you will get vb is equal to 12.5 kN and va is equal to on putting the value of vb in this equation you will get va is equal to 2.5 kN now uh, in step second what we need to do is we have to assume a point e which is away from the these two support and is in overhanging portion so i have selected a point e now this point should be at distance x from in a okay so i have done the same thing now what we need to do is we have to find the moment about in a so uh, on finding moment about a a we, we have m e is equal to v a into x now i am going to explain how this moment came in okay so i am finding moment about e and what we need to do is if we check v a and v a is in clockwise direction and uh, we are finding moment about e so our in e is here e is here and in the a is somewhere here in this side so according to this sign convention if v a is taking clockwise moment and clockwise moment is positive and 10 kN is negative so 10 kN should be negative as you can see here v a is taking clockwise moment so this is positive 10 kN is not taking moving downward so this is negative and uh, vb vb is also moving in upward direction it means clockwise moment so clockwise moment this is also positive now what we need to do is uh, in mccallis method we have to equate moment is equal to e i times t square y by d x square so i have equated it so i have got this equation now uh, what we need to do is i i haven't shown you how i took the distance see here here total distance is x and v a is at distance x from a and 
this 10 km is a distance total x minus this distance x minus 3 c here okay and uh, our point b b is a distance x minus 6 c force into distance force into distance force into distance okay now we what we need to do is we have to integrate this equation to get the equation for finding slope and deflection so on uh, equating this you will get these two equation okay now in the next step what i will be doing is i will be applying the boundary condition in equation 4 for finding the value of constant c1 and c2 sorry here are c1 and c2 okay so let's see how to apply boundary condition for boundary applying boundary condition we have to apply boundary condition at in a and at in b for a here boundary condition will be x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and for at in b x will be equal to 6 and y will be equal to 0 and then we have to put this put the value of x and y in equation 4 okay so let's see how we will get the answer okay now as you can see if we put if x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 in equation 4 in equation 4 you will get c2 is equal to 0 and if x is equal to 6 y is equal to 0 in same equation in equation 4 you will get c1 is equal to minus 7.5 now uh, you can check it by putting the value this value in that equation equation 4 and you will get these two value now we need to rewrite the equation 4 putting the value of c1 and c2 and on doing so what we will get is okay let me show it see here as you can see i have copied the equation for this was our equation for we need to put the value of x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 in this equation and we will get c2 is equal to 0 and putting the value of x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 0 in the same equation we will get and value of c2 also in this equation we will get c1 is equal to minus 7.5 now what we need to do is we have to rewrite the equation for putting the value of c1 and c2 then we will get pi times y is equal to 2.5 x cube by 6 minus 10 x minus 3 to the power 3 by 6 plus 12.5 times x minus 6 to the power 3 by 6 plus c1 sorry this will be minus 7.5 x and c2 is 0 okay now uh, this equation will be solved for finding the deflection at various points uh, sorry deflection at the spans because we cannot find uh, deflection at the support so deflection at support is 0 and uh, slope at mid span mid span is 0 okay so uh, we are in the given equation in the given question we are asked to find uh, slope at in a and at in b for slope now let's see how we will find the slope at a and b for finding the slope we will be using equation 3 uh, then our equation 3 on this putting the value uh, of c1 we it becomes pi times dy by dx is equal to 2.5 times x squared by 2 minus 7.5 this is the value of c1 minus 5 times x minus 3 squared plus 12.5 by 2 times x minus 6 squared now uh, if for finding the slope at a uh, at a x is equal to 0 uh, so slope slope at a that is x is equal to 0 we will get pi times dy by dx is equal to this equation and if i put x is equal to 0 the, this all equation becomes these all terms becomes 0 and we will get pi times uh, dy by dx is equal to 7.5 and this is going to be our slope at a so theta a is equal to minus 7.5 by a uh, now
now for slope at b slope at b what is slope at b slope for slope at b what we need to do is b is another support so at the span of b is 6 meter so at b we need to put x is equal to 6 and uh, the equation becomes ei times dy by dx is equal to 2.5 times 6 squared by 2 minus 7.5 minus 5 times x no sorry 6 minus 3 squared plus 0 ok so this is our slope at b so uh, on solving this you will get dy by dx at b is equal to uh, minus 7.5 by ei now uh, further i will be showing you how to find deflection now you should remember one thing that slope are found at support only and the deflection can be found at the away from the support means which is away from the support here suppose this is our beam then here we will find the slope okay and uh, away from these two support from at any point we can find deflection okay now if we are for, for asked to find deflection at c deflection at c for deflection at c what we have that is x is equal to 3 meter okay means uh, our uh, point c is at distance x uh, sorry at 3 meter so what we need to do is we need to put x is equal to 3 in deflection equation okay and uh, this is going to be our deflection equation means we need to put x is equal to 3 in this equation okay and uh, on doing so you will get this uh, y is actually the deflection so what we need to do is ei times yc means deflection at c is equal to 2.5 by i am directly putting the value of x is equal to 6 in the given equation that is uh, in uh, equation for which was rearranged by putting the value of c1 and c2 on, on doing so you will get 2.5 times by 2 into 3 to the power 3 by 3 minus 7.5 sorry uh, into 3 on solving this you will get yc is equal to uh, minus 11.25 by ei and uh, this is our solution so uh, thanks for watching this video i hope uh, you like the video and uh, the, uh, uh, keep supporting my channel and for getting other numericals related to civil engineering please subscribe my channel